say my favorite part of science is like um, actually doing experiments and like physically like doing things and testing things to find like find out if like, confirm or deny a hypothesis because that way like I'm able to like participate in it and like sometimes it definitely is fun like when you get to like blow things up and things like that <laughs> but yeah that's definitely my favorite part. The uh, thing about, uh, I like about science is that it's everywhere it's all around us and everything that we do you can tie it back to science. Whenever I read things I can tie it into things I do in my daily life and the things that go around around me. I like science because it helps us understand the world around us and predict what's going to happen and thus make our lives better by creating technology like phones, watches, etc. that essentially make our lives more comfortable and more interesting. Oh, okay. So what examples of science can you find in the outside world, like what you mentioned, technology? Um, so one example would be um, work to predict when volcanoes are going to erupt. Um, obviously volcanoes are in some in very important coastal regions in the world where a lot of people live. So we need to be able to work out when to evacuate these people with um, great precision. So we can do that by measuring earthquakes around volcanoes, etc. and thus make people safer and more secure. Um, chemistry, it lets us examine the workings of um, essentially molecules in the everyday items around us. So there's a lot going on in like a glass of water, for example, that we may not be able to perceive without the study of chemistry, essentially. So uh, originally I'm from Sudan, um, so that's country in North East Africa, right? And so when we came here, I didn't speak a lot of English, and so I actually I spent a lot of time in front of the TV, right? And so at one point, I would watch just cartoons and you know, just nonsense entertainment, right? And at one point, my my dad he introduced me to this really popular show, MythBusters, right? So it's just they uh, they take random myths and they they subject them to the scientific method to see if they have any validity, right? And so I was watching that show and I got really interested, and I would just I would you know they would they would bring up a myth and they they would uh. They would go through all these crazy experiments. They would go through all these crazy experiments, and at the end, they would decide whether I was true. And I was like, "Wait, is that something that you could actually do? Is this like a plausible? This is a pl is this a plausible occupation? Because that sounds really amazing." And I think that is when I started uh, um, my inquiry into science. Why do you think science is a universal concept? <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> um, hmm, let me think. Well, um, the scientific method, right? The process of you know hypothesizing, predicting, experimenting. That's not something that is really limited by, by class or by equipment. Of course, you know, having all this fancy equipment can help, but a lot of groundbreaking you know, experiments about science, have, like regarding just any field, have occurred because people were willing to take the time, sit down and observe. And that's not something that is uh, that's restricted by social, socioeconomic, and any type of boundary, boundary, right? As long as you're curious and you're willing to put in the patience and you're willing to you know give it its due diligence I think eventually uh, all type, all types of thought and all type of just observation will turn into science and I think for that reason it's that's why science has become such a universal concept not so much because it's like um not so much because it's not so much because the method itself is so good but because the thought processes are natural and, if, and following them through their courses takes you to what we think of science. It's not so much that there's a, a scientific method that we then apply, it's that we ingrained within us there are the, pro, the, the thoughts that we, the way that we think leads itself into the scientific method.